Welcome back everyone for another East Coast Art Party Facebook video event. Today we are going to be doing this black and white Rob Boss type painting. Um, so uh, all you're going to need for this painting is uh, it's just black and white. So um, if, if, you need, if you need supplies, you can come to us at uh, eastcoastartparty.com. Up top we have supplies available for all the canvases you need or paint or brushes. We have pine board, we have barn board. You can paint these on anything if, if you don't have anything available or you can get the supplies from us. We have lots available. Um, for this event, as I mentioned, you're gonna need black and white paint. You're gonna need a large brush, a medium brush, and a, a small brush. Um, I think this is probably the 10th or 11th, 12th painting we've done uh, so far for the Facebook Live events. All of our previous videos can be replayed. A lot of people are messaging us asking where can they see them. So if you go to our Facebook page, East Coast Air Party PEI, on the left hand side, you click on videos, all the videos are there. You can click on them, you can you can watch them again as many times as you like, and you can do these you can do these over and over if you like, and you can pause them, you can rewind them. Um, if you find that we're going too slow or too fast, sorry, and you want to take your time, you can stretch it out into a couple hours, do whatever you need to do. Um, we're going to be doing this on a 16 by 20 canvas. Uh, as mentioned, you can paint it on whatever you like. Um, we have uh, Damon, our Rob Boss, making his, his uh, triumphant return. Uh, this will be his second appearance, and he's going to be teaching you how to do this, this painting. Um, good luck, hope you have fun, and uh, see you again soon. <laughs> All yours, buddy. How are we doing today, folks? Rob Boss back. I had such a lovely time with you earlier in the week. I just had to come on back. So yeah, today we're painting these lovely trees. We're just gonna be using two colors. A little bit of midnight black and some titanium white. It's all you're gonna need. Now I do know that there is somebody out there who has spent all day making themselves a little costume to paint with us tonight. Give her a little shout out. She's dressed up as a happy little tree. So why don't you drop that photo in the, uh, the comment section there so we all can see it. All right, we're gonna start this off nice and easy. We're gonna start this off with just some titanium black and that large brush. And with just some titanium black, or sorry, midnight black, midnight black, and that large brush. This is the important part, we gotta get this right. Otherwise those trees ain't gonna be so happy. Are we watching? We're gonna start this off with a happy little smiley face. Ain't that nice? You need that smiley face. Other people may not know it, but you're gonna know underneath that painting, there's a happy little face. Now we're gonna cover our canvas, the whole thing, with some of that midnight black making sure to paint those edges. We need those edges. Cover this whole thing. Nice thin coat of midnight black. That's gonna be our base. So we're gonna cover our face. We know, we know there's a happy little face underneath those happy little trees. that whole thing. Make sure you get those edges.
Really spread that paint out. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. time with that. There's no rush. No rush tonight. We're gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna take our time. Really gotta spread out that midnight black. There you go. That's nice. That's nice. When you painted that whole thing with that midnight black, you're gonna go ahead and clean out that brush. You're gonna dry it off. We need that to be dry. So we're gonna give that just a few minutes to let dry. While we're waiting for this black background to dry here, I'm going to do a little trivia question. Um, you can post your, your answers or what your, your guesses are down below in the comments. 20% um, of people say this is the biggest annoyance in their home. So 20% of people say this is the biggest annoyance in their home. Is it that they don't have enough happy little trees? I, I, I can't give away the answer now. But I can tell you, no, that's not the answer. But 20% of us of people say that this is the biggest annoyance in your home. Post in the comments. We'll see who's right. Just going to give another couple minutes here for that to dry. Alright, Rob Boss back here. Now, our midnight black might not quite be dry. I know mine isn't. So, we're gonna take this lovely little plate and we're just gonna fan that canvas. Just get it nice and dry. 
nice and dry. While we're doing that, I'm sure we got a couple guesses on that uh, trivia question. Let's see, you want to repeat that there, Jeff? Sure thing. 20% of people say this is the biggest annoyance in their home. And what's the answer? The answer is pet hair. Pet hair. Pet hair. So you got to get a hairless cat. Just shave them all. <laughs> So we're just going to make sure that's nice and dry. We're going to fan it. Because we have a little, little titanium white, start putting in some, some happy little clouds way off in the distance. Now everybody's going to look a little different. That's fine. This is your landscape. You make it how you want it to be. It's looking pretty dry. That's there, nice and dry. Rob. Nice and dry. So we're going to take that large brush. Should be nice and clean right now. And we're going to take a little titanium white. Little titanium white. Let me drop that right there on our pad. With that large brush, we're going to take a little touch of titanium white. We're going to wipe it, wipe it off a bit, spread it into those bristles. And we're going to lightly start doing a little cross hatching. A little cross hatching back and forth, way off in the distance, nice and light. Really spreading that paint out. Little bit of paint, you're gonna wipe it off. Nice and light, nice and light. Slowly and lightly, just getting in some titanium white way off in the back. Little bits, titanium white, way off in the back, nice and light.
Now we'll be able to come back to this and add some more white to those happy little clouds a little later. But for now what we're going to do is we're going to clean out that large brush. We're going to dry it off. Now we're going to go back to some midnight black. We'll be able to get some more white on those clouds after. But we're going to take that large brush and a little bit of midnight black. And we're going to start dabbing. We're going to dab in some happy little clouds. There's happy little trees. And these little trees are going to be starting high on this right hand side and getting lower to right about here. So we're just going to take a little paint and we're just going to lightly dab our canvas. So we'll start up here. And we're dabbing all the way down to where our black is. We want to be able to see these trees. And it's light little dabs. Remember, trees don't grow straight girl whoever makes them happy. So we're dabbing over top, right down to where our black is. We're going to take those trees right over to about here, right where this little guy is, this happy little one. Light little dabs of midnight black. And we can still see a little bit of that light white behind our tree. That's what gives them some depth. Make this guy a little taller. Make this one a little shorter. They're your trees however you want your trees to be. Just light little dabs on these happy little trees. I'm going to do another trivia question while you're making those happy little trees. Parents say this phrase to their kids on average about 540 times during the school year. What is it? Parents say this phrase to their kids on average about 540 times during the school year. Post your guess in the comments. See who can come up with it. And don't Google it. No Googling. No Googling. Nice little trees, just hanging out there in the background. Those are some far away trees. There we go. Then we need those trees to dry. The best way to do that is just grab your plate, 
only going to take a minute. You can just fan those trees. Everybody's trees are going to look a little different because we all see a different forest. So I fan those trees for a minute. We're gonna go back to our clean large brush, add a little bit of titanium white, and we can add a few more highlights up into our sky. And then we're gonna take this mist down and around our trees. So little bits of white, titanium white, and little cross hatches. Just add into our happy little sky. Ain't that nice? With that large brush and a little bit of titanium white, we're gonna start putting in some, some mist. It's rolling in from the side of this hill. So we're gonna take a little titanium white, we're gonna wipe it off. This time, I'm gonna hold my brush up and down. And we're gonna press it on our canvas nice and light. And we're gonna lightly do some circles, really spread out that paint. A little bit at a time. We're gonna hold it. We're gonna do some little circles. We'll be able to accent this with some more of that titanium white. So if he's looking a little gray. That's all right. That's all right. We're gonna leave lots of space down here for our, our wonderful waterfall. Just gonna lightly put in little bits of gray, or little bits of white. may look a little gray. See how we're taking that little miss and she's rolling around that happy little hill. that for now and we're gonna come back to that part after and we're gonna add some more accents of white but for now on this left side we've got some more happy little trees 
And these ones, I'm going to use my medium brush for. So with that medium brush, because these guys are a little closer, and some midnight black, we're going to start dabbing in some of these trees. So we're going to be nice and short over here. Again, going right down to our black. And they're going to be nice and tall over here. All the way down. So we're just going to dab in some happy little trees. Dab, dab, dab. Now remember, there's no such thing as a mistake. Just happy little accident. Light little dabs, some midnight black, putting in these trees that are a little closer. While you're putting those trees in, we're going to get back to that trivia question we asked earlier. Parents say this phrase to their kids on average about 540 times during the school year. Do you have a guess? Do I have a guess? Do you have a guess? Hmm. 540 times during the school year. What did you learn in school today? 540 times? Yeah. It's a good answer, but it's not the right answer. The answer is, hurry up! <laughs> Parents say, hurry up! To the kids on average about 540 times during the school year. I think that's actually about 540 times a day. Maybe, yes. Get going, hurry up. So these trees are a little closer. We're using our nice little medium brush. And we're dabbing them in. All the way down to our black. Take your time, because after I put these trees in, we're going to take a little break. Bless just, you. Just held in a lovely little sneeze. <laughs> That's nice. They look pretty happy to me. How are yours looking? So we're going to take a, a little break. Oh, wait, sorry. Before we do that, before we do that, I forgot. We're going to want to take a large brush and a touch of white. And we're going to add a few little accents into our mist so that we get some whiter areas. Then we're going to take a little break. Barely touching the canvas. We 
leaving the titanium white on there so that it kind of pops out. Just some accents with that lovely little white. Small amounts and just caress it in there. That's nice, that's nice. There you go. Now we're gonna take a little break to let that all dry. So take your time, you can get caught up and hit pause if you need to, take a little break. We'll be right back. While he's coming back in here, I'm going to ask another trivia question while you're getting your stuff together. This is one that uh, Rob Boss told me himself. What appendage is Bob Ross missing? So, Rob Boss. I'm oh, sorry, Bob Ross, not Rob Boss. It's your brother. That's my brother. So from which a different appendage mother. is my brother, from a different mother, Bob Ross, missing? Hmm. He's missing an appendage. He's missing something. Not me, him. He's missing something. All right. 
let's get back to some happy little trees. So we're gonna need our medium brush. So we're gonna need, you guessed it, some Midnight Black. With that medium brush and some Midnight Black, we're gonna put a couple nice little trees right over here. Now these guys are a little different, a little different. You're gonna take a little paint on your medium brush. I'm gonna show you one real slow. You're going to dab lightly a line down to our black. Then we're gonna turn our brush sideways. We're gonna start off lightly and small at the top, making some branches getting longer and longer as we go down. So very lightly, we're gonna start dabbing in some branches and I'm just lightly touching the canvas, just a, just a nice little, little kiss of the brush. Moving on. And these branches get a little wider and longer at the bottom. Nice little ones, little bits. All the way down to that black. We got ourselves a happy little tree. Now we gotta do another one because everybody needs a friend. We're gonna put another guy right here. He's a little shorter. So we're gonna dab that line down. We're gonna turn our brush and we're gonna lightly just have that paintbrush just kiss the canvas. There you go. Nice and light. Getting these branches a little longer as we work our way down. Just little dabs. Take your time. All the way down to that black. Let's get a little guy right here too. Since I got this little space on the right hand side, I'm gonna put in a little, little half a tree. So we're just seeing the edge of them. See, he comes out, just poking his head. Yeah, he's leaning in, he's saying hi. There you go. Say hi, tree. Lovely to see you. Here's our nice little trees. While I'm letting you guys finish that up, I think maybe we should hear the answer. Does everybody want to know which appendage Mr. Bob Ross, my, my brother from another month, which appendage he's missing? Can we take a guess? We got a few guesses? Some coming in. There's some. 
It is his index finger. He hides it in behind his palate when he's painting. So instead of holding it like this, he hides that finger behind his palate. Well, he doesn't hide it because it's gone. But he hides the missing piece. He hides the missing piece. <laughs> it is his left index finger, which he cut off when he was doing carpentry. When you know, you know. And now you know. know. So go ahead and clean out that medium brush, dry it off. We got to start work on some water. Which means, guess what color's next? A little bit of that titanium white. So we're going to take a little little titanium white. We're going to wipe it off. And we're going to start on this right hand side first. And this is like a little grass, a little embankment, if you will, before we get to our water. We're going to lightly, lightly, very lightly, 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 we're going to brush to the right, and then we're going to take our brush and do a gentle swoop up. Take our brush to the right and do a gentle swoop up. Just give us the little little hint that maybe there's some, some long grass on that little embankment. Maybe we got a few little critters living in there. We've got to give them a place to stay. Some nice little grass. Just nice and light. Nice and soft. animals to build their home with. There you go. Doesn't that look nice? That's lovely. We're still going to be using some of that titanium white and that medium brush. And we're going to start going back and forth. We're going to add our little water right down to where our waterfall is going to start. So I'm going to put a little mark on here first. Let's go yeah, right about there. So that's where my waterfall is going to start. We're not doing the waterfall yet. Gotta add in that, that little little touch of water. Using that medium brush and some titanium white. We're gonna go back and forth. Just light little streaks back and forth. Different lengths. Take some over this side. See, I'm using a little bit more paint this time. It's going to be a little bit more, a little bit more bright.
just the size of this, make them a little bit wider if you like. It's your water, it's your world. You create it how you want. thing we're going to do before we take another little break to let it dry. And that's going to be putting in our water bottle. And don't be scared. We're going to get this guy in there nice and easy. So we're going to take our large brush. It should be nice and clean. And I'll explain it right now while you're finishing up that water. We're going to take that large brush nice and clean. We're going to pick up a little titanium white, and then we're going to wipe it off, little bits at a time. Like I said, I'm not going to start it yet, I'm just explaining. We're going to take a little bit of that, we're going to put our brush right where we want our waterfall to start. We're going to lightly go to the left and down, go to the left and down, very lightly. Then we'll be able to see through it. We're not looking for a solid white. That's why we're wiping it off. Let's give this a try. The best way to start is right in the middle. Because then we can make our waterfall bigger. So right in the middle, we're going to go to the left. See how that works? That's nice. To the left and down. We can always go back and add some more on top of this. But little bits at a time left and down. Right down to the bottom of that canvas. While you're finishing up that waterfall, we'll add another trivia question here just before we go into the drawing break. As a man gets older, he is more likely to wear one of these. As a man gets older, he is more likely to wear one of these. The answer is not a wig. Because that's real hair. This is real. This is real. So again, with small amounts of that titanium white, and very lightly, we went left and down to add in our waterfall. Now I'll take a little break. We'll let that dry for a minute. I'll let you guys get caught up. And then we'll come back to finish off this, this beautiful little picture.
How we doing, everybody? All right. I'm going to explain our next step here. But first, should we get the answer to the trivia question? Well, once I explain this step, then you can tell them the trivia. How about that? That sounds great. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So we're going to take our clean large brush. Guess what color we're going to use next? That's right. Some titanium white. We're going to take a little titanium white. We're going to wipe that off. Get it right into those bristles. And on these bottom two sides, just below our waterfall, we're gonna hold our brush, and we're gonna go back to those nice little circles. We're really gonna spread this out. We got a little mist coming out from that waterfall. Just a little spray. So a little bit at a time. We're gonna pick up some titanium white. Wipe off our brush. We're gonna hold it. We're gonna do some circles. Now that trivia there, Jeff. Right, back to the trivia. As a man gets older, he is more likely to wear one of these. The answer is a sweater. Sweater. The old man sweater, right? Probably. We get, we get chilly. We get chilly. Probably. Uh, what are they called? They have like the few buttons. Cardigan. cardigan, right? Cardigan. That is an old man sweater right there. Do not judge a cardigan by its cardigan. By its cardigan. <laughs> I like me a nice cardigan. I guess I'm just a. Just an old man. So again, we're just picking up a little bit of that titanium white. And we're just making little circles. Get some, some nice little mist coming off our waterfall. Give me just a minute to do that while I get a little bit more of my midnight black. that large brush, or your medium brush, and some midnight black on these bottom two corners. We're going to go ahead and put in two little happy little hills. guys a minute to get caught up there. Just a minute before we, we do our last couple of things.
Alright. Now we're gonna take our little tiny brush and a little bit of, you guessed it, midnight black. We're gonna hold that brush nice and close, nice and close to those bristles. And we're gonna be putting in some grass. Everybody's grass is gonna be a little different. But the lighter you press it against the canvas, the skinnier your line's gonna be. So take a little in that black. Hold that brush nice and close. We're gonna start at the bottom. We're gonna do a little flick up. different lengths, different directions. It's grass. It can be wherever you want it to be. grass on there. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Nice little grass. Hope we're all enjoying this today. I know I am. Looking good, buddy. Looking good. There is something else we have to do with this. Up in the sky, we need a few little little twinkling stars, some nice little stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put down my palette for one second here. Because I need two hands. As you can see, I've got all my digits. We're gonna take that medium brush, which should be nice and clean. You're gonna wet the bristles just a little. Then we're gonna pick up a tiny little bit of white paint. Just a little of that titanium white. And we only want this up in the sky. So we're gonna hold it nice and close. And then we're gonna lightly flick those bristles. Really light, we don't want it on our trees. Nice and light, nice and gentle. Make sure you, uh, if you're doing this at home, especially if you're younger, you don't want to get paint all over the, the floor, or the carpet, or the ceiling. So make sure you're, if you're going to do this step, they have some uh, drop cloth or a towel down or something. We just go nice and close and very light. Just be careful. We don't need to go too crazy. Just a few twinkling stars. There you go. 
Then, to get a few that stand out a bit more, if you like, you can't really see those, we're gonna take the back side of our little brush. We're gonna dip it in some white paint, and we can put a few dots on it. These guys are a little bigger. Oh, you can see those. Try and keep them nice and random. And then we have to do the most important part to any paint, which is sign it. You gotta sign it. So we're gonna sign that and some of that titanium white. We're gonna put ours right here today. Odd spot to sign a painting. That's where I wanted to. Okay, Rob. You can sign it in the corners if it's dry. You can sign it wherever you like. That's where I chose today. So I just want to say thank you for having myself, Rob Boss, back again to show you how to paint. Hopefully you'll come back sometime soon and show us some I'll of those be paintings back. behind you. Maybe we can do one of these together. Paint some more lovely little trees. All right, thanks, Rob. Bob Ross's brother, Rob Boss, for another East Coast Air Party video. Um, as we mentioned several times, these videos can be replayed. You can pause them, you can rewind them. They can all be found on our Facebook site, um, East Coast Art Party. Duck up. Duck, or, no, sorry, well, no, sorry. On, the face, on Facebook, East Coast Art Party PEI, under videos on the left hand side, you can view all the videos. Um, stay tuned, we have a lot more uh, projects coming up. Um, we have a very special one happening tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning which is Sunday. Yep, Sunday at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. We're going to be doing this. Thank you for, it's, what do we call this one again? Uh, love in the Window? I believe it's Love in the Window. Because we want everybody to paint it and put it in their window. Put it in the window to show thank you to all the healthcare workers, all the essential workers that are help, helping us all keep keep safe during these uh, trying times. Those um, doctors, those nurses, everybody. those people at the grocery stores, everybody who's doing everybody. their best. So paint these up with us, um, put, show, put them in the window for everyone to see. That way when people are going for walks, hopefully we can all display these in our windows, it'd be great. If you don't have canvases, maybe you want to paint it on your window, right? Anything to, to brighten everyone's mood a little bit. Um, all of our supplies that uh, we have available, canvases and the paint and the brushes and everything on eastcoastarparty.com up above where it says supplies if you need anything. Uh, we've mentioned several times where we have a, a, a good little system set up where you're never gonna really run into anybody else. You, you buy your supplies, there's a calendar option where you pick your specific time when you'd like to pick it up and that time is yours. No one else will be coming in during that time or before or after so you'll never run into anybody else. Um, we have your supplies waiting for you right at the top of the stairs. You don't have to uh, be close to anybody. It's, uh, it works out fairly well. Um, so we have canvases and barn boards and pine boards and brushes and paint and everything available for you. Um, hope you can join us for this special event tomorrow. And uh, for any of our upcoming events that we have coming up, stay tuned. Um, if you go to our Facebook site, if you're not already, uh, like the page and that way you'll get updates and uh, notifications anytime we launch a new event or if a new video is coming up. And um, that's it. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you again soon.